Um, uh, and there was many exercises that you were doing all the time, from the bar mm -hmm. even to the mm -hmm. center floor, mm -hmm. where you're always asking the students to allow their torso, mm -hmm. to allow their torso to move yeah. in opposition mm -hmm. of, of some mm -hmm. of the movements mm -hmm. of the legs. Yeah. Can you explain why mm -hmm. you want them to do that, um, which is different or deviates from mm -hmm. what you find in a book? Mm -hmm about mm -hmm. how the body must stay in a perfect mm -hmm. vertical, blah, 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 mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. I think, first of all, I want to say that dance is the movement. So if you talk about the movement, you move the whole body. Mm -hmm. You're not only walking your leg or feet, and you don't move your bo up body, you just move your foot. Mm -hmm. This is called exercise. Yeah. You know? yeah. So when I'm giving class, I first want to make people to understand now you are walking dancing class, mm -hmm. so you move your body first. Mm -hmm. I think the body should be very uh, coordinated for everything, your mm -hmm. arms, head, mm -hmm. everything together. This is called movement. Mm -hmm. If you only walk your feet, foot, I think when you are at school, you already did yeah. this base. Yeah. If you were in the school doing the mm -hmm. basic class, so mm -hmm. maybe we were walking, walking first standing, mm -hmm. first uh, walking the foot, mm -hmm. pound you, mm -hmm. right. but they are professional dancers. Yeah. They have to learn how can make their body to move and the right way. Mm -hmm. How can you use the direction? How can you use the musicality? Use the energy? Mm -hmm. And why do the dancers um, try to maintain the position of their torso uh, instead of allowing their body to move? When it comes to ballet, because mm -hmm. when in contemporary dance, of mm -hmm. course, they mm -hmm. let their body move, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they do a ballet class, mm -hmm. everyone tries to hold the torso mm -hmm. and to not allow it to move. Mm -hmm. Why is this? Yeah, because uh, I think uh, they still was follow the basic training, you know, it's very correct. Mm -hmm. First, uh, they walk in the pavement, mm -hmm. don't move, because mm -hmm. it's very easy to be hips up, right. or shoulder up, yeah. everything, so they walk in base. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I also give this class, mm -hmm. but I think these people, they already should care about themselves. When you're moving, this pavement starts to be changing. Right. You have to develop, you have to learn when you're moving keep the right placement. It's not only keep your placement, don't move, mm -hmm. and the when, then you go to the center, I ask you to move. Mm -hmm. So you have to look in for the placement again. Yeah, right. It's more complicated, isn't it? I mean, the placement is more complicated. With the placement where the torso is mobile mm -hmm. is a more complicated placement because it's yeah. the, 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 yeah. the pelvis is shifting yes. Huh? Yes. all the time. Yeah. Yes. So it's... I think that's why you have to understand your body very well. You also have to understand the first, direction. First, I mean, mm -hmm. before you begin to work this way, mm -hmm. because you say in the, in the beginning, in the basics, you need to really yes. establish yeah. it. Yeah. But then when you really start the moving, then yeah. you have to go yes, more complicated. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so they always, always <coughs> never really develop, but keep going. They always stay where they are, doing the basic training, mm -hmm. clean, clean again, again. You know? Yeah, right. And that's kind but of like... I don't want to they think they should clean right now. Clean is your work. You should mm. go home, ah. clean yourself. <laughs> Come here, you should think about another way. About moving, yeah. You know? Otherwise, you can ask everybody coming, teaching the same thing. Just to clean. Just clean. Basic. You read the book, you just keep straight, to move your hips. Yes, but I don't think it's interesting to listen to this. No, not for professional dancers. Not for professional dancers, exactly. So. You know? And do you think that the professional dancers in contemporary mm -hmm. um, can get a lot uh, from doing ballet more, more often? Yes, I yeah. think so. Yes, I think, uh, anyway, for me, classical contemporary is a look is such a difference, but then it's one circles. They go different way and the finally it's the same. Yeah? It's dancing. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know? yeah. One turn out, one turn in. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, do, what do you think that contemporary dancers can gain, can receive by doing a, a ballet class? sometimes, instead of just only contemporary, you know? No, I think uh, they found the ballet class, they can receive uh, the dynamic. Dynamics. And uh, body use. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they use their body, but they, mo they are very good at torso, maybe for the floor movement, yeah. you know? Yeah. But when they are standing, how can make movement? They are not so good. And what about uh, speed? Speed? I think... Uh, I think a contemporary dancer is very fast. Mm -hmm. They can be very fast. Yeah. We always think they are very slow and because they like to be maybe in the body slow, yeah. under the ground, you know. But when they move, they are very fast yeah, yeah. because they are relaxed. 
Ah, c'est ça. Fast is a relax. When you relax, you come fast. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's what I notice when you're when you dance, and even when you teach, even when you're standing there, you're very relaxed. Yeah, I'm you're relaxed. a very relaxed yeah. person. Yeah. There's no there's no tension. No. So tension slows you down. No. Tension no. tension stops you from moving yes. fast. Yes, you sure. stop the movement. Yeah. That's why I always say move, move, because I don't want the tension. They, they start to tension, they could not move. Yeah. When they dance in contemporary, they're so feeling good because they can right. move. Yeah. They can release. Yeah. They feel the body, they yeah. feel the articulation. But when they make attention to the first position, everything continues, don't move, yeah. they don't feel the body. Everything slows. Never so you cannot feel the body. No. And what about the music for contemporary dancers? Because the um, you have to you insist very much on the dynamics in the music and the yeah, acting yeah, reacting yeah, on the music yeah, because contemporary music. dancers let's face it we don't we've gone away a bit we've we've, we've gotten away from music uh -huh. for a long time now uh -huh. and so it's less important you know the music uh -huh. is less important than it used to be yeah okay oui je rentre je rentre à la maison okay. yeah moi je vais je vais je te donne un coup de fil c'est après-midi okay parfait et je vais régler les comptes avec Bye. Euh, Ciao. See you soon. See you soon. Ciao. Euh, but what about the, in the contemporary dancer who does, who is in here mm -hmm. and has to get reminded of the music and the timing? Yeah. That must be something also that the contemporary yes. dancer can get. You can get from ballet. You just when you have the musicality, you will have the dynamic. Yeah. The dynamic is come from the music. Right. You know? So sometimes people they don't talk about the dynamic. They just say, good musicality. Why? Because you did some movement very precise. Mm -hmm. Why is precise? Because you have this dynamic. Uh -huh. So that's why in the bow, when we walk, we are not always doing the just, just physical. Yeah. We also work in the muscle as musicality. Yeah. So when your choreographer asks to do something, they can show. You can do it. You can show. What do you, you want to slow? I can show you slow. You want fast? I can show you fast. So if that's the way, you have to show everything. What do you ask? Your choreographer asks us something, you have to show this. So I have to be able to do, be to musical do. and dynamic. Yeah, I have yeah. to be able to. Have to be, yeah. And that means that uh, it has to be trained. And in contemporary dancers, mm -hmm. in contemporary classes, if there isn't music mm -hmm. being used in the class mm -hmm. and the choreography is on the music, yeah. dancers, contemporary dancers, don't get enough of it. Yeah. And so uh, we lose this. Uh, yeah, yeah. But in this, in this class that you give, there's so much attention to the music and the time, yeah. and uh, it's more complicated. And it's yeah. important to create these senses. Yeah. No, I think when they, the contemporary dancer, they have musicality. They don't listen to music, but they, they listen to their body. Mm -hmm. Their body has the musicality, mm -hmm. has the action, mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. the dynamic. So that's why they can make uh, some movement uh, very amazing, like a ta ta ta, something. Ah. You ah. know? Mm -hmm. But uh, that means they are the movement that can connect with the music at the same time. This is difficult, you know? Yeah, right. right. So if you, they have this kind of dynamic with the Exactly the music, mm -hmm. musicality, mm -hmm. so it will be perfect. Yeah, right. That's what we're looking for. So that's one thing that the contemporary dancer can uh, can get also by taking a, a ballet class, I think. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's non ballet, it's not uh, only classical, you know. It's right. ballet, you also for new classical, for mm -hmm. contemporary. Sure. You know, I, I cannot say I'm teaching very, very rich style, you know. No. I teach it for the dancer. For me, dance is for everything. It's not only classical ballet or Russian style, French style, whatever, you know. It's just it's just dance. Dance. It's just yeah. Just the body movement. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good way to finish it. <laughs> I think. Well, yeah. thanks a lot. Good. Yeah, no, good. No. It's real good. Pleasure. All right.